Hey, this is Boris. I'm developing two open source graphics tools called VGC Illustration and VGC Animation. And in this video, I'm going to show you what I've done so far. All right, I'm going to be honest with you, I did not make a lot of progress on VGC Illustration the past few weeks. I mean, I continue to work on the save and undo features, uh, but they're still not finished yet. However, I spent some time to organize myself for the next few months to come, uh, which are going to be full of conferences where hopefully I can promote VGC a little bit. So last week I was at FMX in Stuttgart and I'm going to give more details in a moment. And next week I'm going to be in Toronto at the Graphics Interface Conference where I'm going to be presenting my PhD work. Oh, and if you're curious, right now I'm visiting a few friends in New York City, which is basically on the way from France to Toronto. In June, there will be the ANSI Animated Film Festival in France. Then in July, there will be the Symposium of Computer Animation in Paris. All right, and finally in August, I'm going to be back in Canada for the SIGGRAPH conference, which is happening in Vancouver this year. All right, and just so you know, I used some of your donations to buy a new desktop computer uh, because my old laptop was getting very, very slow for video editing, for instance. Okay, so since I don't have cool features to show you this month, how about I just show you some highlights of the FMX conference last week? So some of the talks are more on the technical side. For instance, I saw a very interesting talk by Jingwon Lu from Adobe showing, among other things, new ways to represent a color palette, which I think could be very useful for VGC as well. I saw Aiden Grinsman from Columbia University giving insight on hair water simulation. And also there was Simon Clavé from Ubisoft explaining how they are investigating machine learning for their future games. But of course, FMX is not just about technical talks. I saw many presentations from animated studios, such as here, Studio AKA, based in London, Reka Booksy presenting Solar Walk, and a sneak peek of the upcoming short Sonder, entirely rendered in the game engine Unity. There were also bigger studios, such as here, Blue Sky, presenting how it was in the early days. And I even got to see Europe premiere of the upcoming Pixar short, Bao. Outside, there was a giant screen where I could watch short movies while having lunch. The first evening, I saw the Japanese movie in this corner of the world. And the next day, I watched the entirely hand-painted movie, Loving Vincent. Oh, and more related to VGC, I was pleasantly surprised to see that there was an entire session only dedicated to open source software. So for example, I got to learn about the possibility of an upcoming foundation to help coordinating the development of open source software for film production. And also, I got a chance to briefly talk with Ton Rosendahl, the founder of Blender. I also met David Mass, a teacher at Film Academy, with whom we discussed recent advancements on 2D animation software. Anyway, that's all for today. Thanks for watching, and see you next time. Hey, just one more thing. If you like this project, make sure to subscribe to this channel and check out my TP or Patreon page, whose links are in the description of this video. As a sponsor, you'd get early access to video reports such as this one, you'd get exclusive access to more content, but more importantly, this is how you can pre-order license keys for VGC Illustration and VGC Animation. Since I'm working full-time on this project now, this is my only source of revenue, so as you can imagine, this is very important for me. Anyway, thanks for watching again, share if you like, and see you soon.